Hey guys, CB Super. Um, I just got the question uh, from Ludnaski. Uh, hey, how do you crop in DaVinci 16? This question, I don't know, kind of vague, but uh, I'll show you two different ways to crop inside of DaVinci Resolve 16.1. I'm assuming that you need to crop uh, and you want to probably change the aspect ratio because you're going to put it into something like, I don't know, maybe Instagram or something that has a different type of aspect ratio. All right, so here's some footage of a robin. I'm going to go ahead and drop it into my timeline. Let's go ahead and get rid of the inspector for right now, and I'm going to get rid of the mixer as well. So first off, I'm going to show you how to do this in the edit tab. It's really simple. So if we click on this button here on the left, uh, that's going to activate um, this transform. But I don't necessarily want the transform. If I click on the twirl down just to the right of that, I can click on crop. And now I have the ability to crop out. So like if I wanted to add some kind of uh, aspect ratio bars like uh, like we used to add before that we actually had control over the aspect ratio, I could do that and then I could even transform it and I can move it up just a little bit if, uh, if I need to. So um, you can animate this because you'll notice over here on the right when you click on the inspector, uh, they are moving. You can animate them. You can also come over here to the cropping section right here. You can turn it on and off, double click on it to actually have access to all of these little things. Um, so if you wanted to crop in, you could, uh, you could do that right here and that way you could do it a little bit more uniformly. I'm going to go ahead and disable that going to uh, disable the transform just because I want to show you another way to do this. Uh, so inside of the fusion tab we can do a very similar thing. Uh, so I already have my media in and my media out. I'm going to get rid of the inspector for right now. Click on my media in, shift space, type in XF, and then shift space, type in crop. We're basically going to do the same thing. If I double click on the crop I can uh, come over here and I can change these sizes. Say if I want it to 1080 by 1080, uh, I can change it to a 1080 by 1080 and then I can come over to the transform node and I can either, you know, I can manually do this. I can also um, size it up a little bit. Uh, if this is the portion of the video that I want, now I can go ahead and preview it. Yep, looks great. This is exactly what I want for Instagram. Now I can come over to the edit page and you'll notice I have these black bars. So in order to uh, get rid of these black bars, I'm actually going to need to change the aspect ratio of my project. So I can click off this inspector, come down here to the right side of the screen, down in the very bottom corner where it says project settings. Click on that and right where it says up here for timeline resolution uh, for 1920 by 1080, I can actually just double click this and type in 1080. By 1080 hit save and voila now I have a 1080 by 1080 video that I can render out for Instagram if I so choose uh, come over to the custom down a little bit 1080 make sure it says 1080 by 1080 add to the render queue pick your save spot and start your render and that is pretty much it um, it's that simple I hope this answers the question that you posed uh, if you have any other questions or if this isn't exactly what you were looking for, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.